Did you know that the average toilet uses 1.6 gallons of water per flush? And if your toilet was installed before 1994, it's at least double that amount. Now that's a lot of wasted water. Conscientious renters and homeowners like you and I are looking for ways to cut costs anywhere. And what better place to start than with your toilet? So how does a toilet work? Inside the tank, there is a float that rises as the water level rises. This float signals the water to turn on for filling and to turn off when full. Pretty basic, right? So the theory goes that placing a weighted item inside of the tank shuts off the water fill prematurely. That means when you flush every time that less water goes into the bowl from the tank, therefore saving you water and money. While the premise is spot on, the logistics are not so much. A brick that's submerged in water will eventually crumble off and start to break apart into your septic tank. This can eventually lead to clogged pipes and then a whole big mess that you just don't want to deal with. Using a plastic bottle filled with sand and water in your toilet's tank in place of a brick is a smarter and equally efficient method to water conservation. Depending on the size of your tank, you can use up to a two liter bottle. Just be sure that the bottle does not cover the valve at the bottom of the tank or interfere with the float that measures the water level. You've now successfully created the same amount of displacement, all the while conserving water, free from the dangers of potentially damaging your plumbing. Now that's smart thinking. On behalf of homes.com and forrent.com, we hope you've been inspired to tackle your next DIY project. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.